drugs, once closely associated with the all-night dance parties of the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, are still recreational substances of choice for young people today. These inexpensive tablets or chemical-laced beverages increase feelings of euphoria and arousal, which in turn create an artificial sense of intimacy with others while reducing inhibitions and distorting time and senses. Unlike other substances that may have similar effects, club drugs have a diverse range of characteristics that are often linked together because of the social environments in which they are used. While a variety of substances may be found in nightclubs and at underground dance parties, more commonly known as raves, when referring to club drugs, the usual suspects are MDMA, GHB, Rohypnol, and Ketamine. MDMA is commonly known as ecstasy, a name that describes its intended high. Ecstasy is unique in that it is both a stimulant and a psychedelic. Ecstasy pills, which look like candy, can be swallowed or crushed and then snorted. They're often laced with other drugs, such as methamphetamine, caffeine, or cocaine. The powder form of MDMA is called molly, short for molecular. Like other club drugs, MDMA reduces inhibitions and expands feelings of closeness, empathy, and intimacy. Negative effects include confusion, anxiety, and paranoia. MDMA can be dangerous at high doses. It affects the regulation of body temperature, causing spikes that can result in brain damage, kidney damage, or kidney failure. Although it has not been determined whether MDMA is addictive, it does affect the brain in the same way that other addictive substances do. Long-term use of MDMA has many damaging effects, and some may become permanent. These include learning problems, memory loss, and damage to the serotonin delivery system in the body, which, ironically, reduces the ability for the individual to feel pleasure. GHB, also known as liquid ecstasy, is a benzodiazepine, or central nervous system depressant. It is a slightly salty, odorless liquid, or white powder that is dissolved in liquid, taken for its intoxicating effects of euphoria. Low doses provide a sense of joy and relief from anxiety. In increased amounts, or in combination with other substances, it can cause heavy sedation, which can result in coma and even death, living up to its nickname, grievous bodily harm. Regular use of GHB may create dependence and withdrawal symptoms which often include anxiety, insomnia, and tremors. Rohypnol, more commonly called roofies, is infamous for its use in sexual assaults. Like GHB, it is an odorless powder that is dissolved in liquid. It also comes in pill form, which can be swallowed or crushed and snorted. Rohypnol is a benzodiazepine, similar to Valium but up to 10 times more potent and used for its sedative and hypnotic qualities. Roofies also cause amnesia, leaving a person with no memory of events that took place while they were intoxicated. It is not approved for medical use in the United States. Ketamine, also known as K or Special K, is a dissociative drug. It comes in either a liquid or powder form that is then injected, snorted, smoked, or dissolved in other liquids. People who use it experience a sense of detachment from the world around them and even from themselves. At low doses, it has a sedative effect, creating a trance-like state. At higher doses, people who use it can fall into a K-hole and experience extreme detachment. They may be unable to connect or feel like they are peering out at the world from inside a hole in their mind. Many club drugs are designer chemicals smuggled into the United States from other countries or created in makeshift labs, often with toxic ingredients, including solvents, oven cleaners, and other industrial chemicals. Their ingredients and how they are manufactured is unregulated, which makes them wildly unpredictable. People who use them may think they are getting something pure, when in fact, they are ingesting poison or much higher concentrations of the drug than they intended. All drugs are dangerous, but when you use more than one drug or you mix in alcohol into the equation, you're doing so much to your central nervous system. And especially if you're trying to balance one thing out with another, the, the opportunity for you to take too much GHB or um, take too much Rohypnol, something that can give you seizures and can kill you, it's relatively common. Um, I had an experience one time when I was at a club and everyone was dancing, the lights were going, everyone was having a great time and someone dropped dead on the dance floor. And the club never turned on the lights or stopped the music and everyone, including me, kept dancing, not really thinking that's so unusual. But there's something about kind of that that mentality or that culture that taking risks like that 
isn't that unusual. Ecstasy and GHB are considered Schedule One drugs, which means they have a high potential to be abused and no accepted medical use in the United States. Ketamine is a Schedule Three drug and Rohypnol a Schedule Four drug. They both have a lower potential for abuse, but still may lead to moderate or low physical dependence or high psychological dependence. Only ketamine is prescribed in the United States. To further escalate the effects of club drugs, they are often used in combination with each other or other substances, like alcohol. This can lead to dangerous consequences, including catatonic states, severe dehydration, overdose, and leaving people vulnerable to situations that could cause them great harm. People who use club drugs often believe that they are less harmful than other substances and that they will not lead to addiction. But this is untrue. Club drugs are habit-forming and they can be addictive. Although the best approach in addressing harmful use is education and prevention, recovery from a substance use disorder is possible and achieved by many people every day who have found a new sense of healing and hope in their life. <laughs>